we will be showing the basic operation of the Bernina 820 by making a fashionable crazy patchwork tote. Between this instructional DVD and the manual that came with your sewing computer, you will find all the instructions you need to create with your Bernina 820. Plug in the power cable. Place the spool holder on the metal spindle. If desired, the spool holder can be swung out to the right until it is engaged. Sewing with the spool holder in the normal position is trouble-free, however, this ensures optimal overall view and access to the spools. Pull out the telescope and turn the sections until they click into place. Insert the free hand system in the hole provided. The free hand system raises or lowers the presser foot while lowering the feed dogs at the same time. This time-saving feature frees your hands so you can hold and maneuver the fabric under the foot without removing your hands from your work. Plug in the foot control. Turn on the machine. The needle can be lowered or raised by tapping the rear of the foot control with your heel. Each tap is a half stitch. This is handy when positioning the needle for precise stitching. While sewing, place your entire foot on the foot control. The circular multi-spool holder system with built-in metallic thread guide holds three large and small cones. Take the thread through a special thread path. An animation appears on screen for easy instruction. The automatic threader threads the needle in one process with the touch of a button. No more fumbling trying to thread the needle with your fingers. The jumbo bobbin allows for up to 40 to 60 percent more thread to be wound on the bobbin compared to normal bobbins. Place the bobbin on the spindle with the silver markings facing you. The bobbin cannot be put on the spindle the wrong way. Wind bobbins quickly and conveniently at any time, even while sewing. As soon as the bobbin is placed on the spindle, an animation appears on the screen for easy instruction. All functions and buttons are located on the front of the machine for quick and easy access. Take the bobbin thread through the metal guides, around the bobbin a couple of times, and cut the excess thread on the cutter. Winding is activated by touching the spool icon on the screen. You can select the amount of thread you want on the spool and decrease or increase the speed of winding or touch the red X icon to stop the winding process. If for some reason you want to exit the bobbin winding screen by touching the red X and need to go back to wind some more thread on the bobbin, simply touch the setup icon, then touch the bobbin icon at the lower left screen. The bobbin winding screen appears so you can continue the winding process. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread on the cutter. As soon as the hook door is opened, the hook system swings out and the bobbin can be inserted with the silver markings facing you. Slide the thread into the slit, cut the thread. Close the door and the hook system swings back into place and is ready to sew. Quick and so simple! The slide-on table provides a large, stable sewing surface with helpful inch-wide markings to aid in stitching placement and guiding fabric while sewing. Slide it to the right until it engages. For additional aid in precise stitching, slide on the seam guide and place it where you need it. Needles are quickly removed with the aid of a special tool provided in the accessories. Loosen the needle clamp screw and remove the needle. Insert a new needle as high up as it will go and tighten the needle clamp screw with the tool. You can record the type of needle that is inserted in the needle minder. This great feature can help remind you of the size and type needle you inserted in the machine to sew your various creative projects. To locate the needle minder, touch the setup icon, then touch the information icon. Select the needle type and size you've just inserted and approve with the green check. Now, as a convenient reminder, each time the machine is turned on, the selected needle type appears on the welcome screen in the left lower corner. While we're in setup, touch the sewing settings icon. Here you can program the way you want the sewing computer to sew securing stitches, allowing you to customize the auto secure function to suit the individual applications of your sewing projects. Now go to the next page. The external auto secure button on the head frame can be configured to your personal preference. Select from two securing stitch sequences, either stitching in place or short running stitches. Each sequence can sew from 3 to 6 stitches. Return to the previous screen. 
each seam begins with interlocking stitches. This is an automatic function which ensures that the top and bottom threads meet to create the first stitch. This function can be deactivated when working with metallic threads or sewing patchwork piecing seams, for example. Return to the next page. In addition, secure and cut threads anywhere you want on the spot. The automatic thread cutter can also be programmed to sew securing stitches and cut threads in one operation, just by pressing the external thread cutter button on the head frame. Approve your settings with the green check and exit the screen. Attach a foot easily and quickly by guiding the foot onto the cone, then lowering the clamp. The Bernina 820 has a unique and helpful function called presser foot recognition. This function serves as an aid and reminder to the sewer that if a certain presser foot is attached and a stitch pattern is selected which is not compatible with the foot, there is danger of the needle crashing into the presser foot. When presser foot recognition is selected, your machine will not allow you to make a mistake. To access this presser foot recognition menu, touch the presser foot icon in the upper left corner of the screen and a special screen appears. Depending on what foot is attached, a special selection of presser feet is visible for selection. Simply touch the foot icon that corresponds with the attached foot. Select the foot 4D, approve with the green check, the screen closes. The stitch altering area indicates that the needle will hit the presser foot if it is within the gray zone where stitching lines are red. This way, you are advised to move the needle to the left or right until the stitching lines are out of the gray zone and appear blue, thus avoiding needle breakage. The freestanding accessory box keeps all feet and bobbins organized in a modular rack system that can be configured to your preference. All other helpful tools and accessories are stored in the drawers provided. The accessory box can also be hung on the wall. The Bernina 820 comes with a wide assortment of presser feet. 1C, reverse pattern foot, for all forward and reverse sewn stitching. 1D, reverse pattern foot, for use with Bernina dual feed. 3C, buttonhole foot, for manually programmed buttonholes. 3A, automatic buttonhole foot with slide. 4D, zipper foot, for use with Bernina dual feed. 5. Blind stitch foot. 20C. Open embroidery foot. 4 bobbins, 5 including the one that comes with the machine. Bernina stitch regulator for regulated free motion stitching. Additional accessories include standard needle assortment 130-705H, seam ripper, special screwdriver for needle insertion, lint brush, seam guide, height compensating tool, multi-purpose tool, which is used for adjusting bobbin tension, removing the service cover, and aiding in threading the hook system, adjustable guides, anti-vibration cone, adapter for magnifying glass set, cording tool, thread net, and additional accessories that can be found in your manual, lubricator, tweezers, wire threader.